Uh, good evening, good early evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Crime Pleasure Bonnie Does. And today I'm coming to you from uh, the uh, northern end of the uh, Cape Peninsula in Cape Town, South Africa. We're near Houts Bay over there. Houts Bay, how do you spell that? Huh? Hout? Hout? I don't know, who knows? Looks like some nice waves back there, though. Back there on the beach. Seen some, uh, some beach activity going on. Look at this beautiful fin boss we have in front of us, okay? This low-growing, nutrient-poor plant community that is growing on nutrient-poor soils. We got a variety of uh, members of the Protea family, as well as the Nephaliate tribe of the Sunflower family. Even I got a couple apiaceous bastards, a couple carrots uh, growing around this right here. Look at the soil, though. Look at this stuff, all right? All right, it's at the, the quartzite. You get quartzite, sandstone, and granite. Okay, so metamorphous sandstone and granite, quartzitic sandstone and granite. Uh, look, this guy over here, member of the genus Brasilia of uh, Bruniaceae, an endemic family, a family endemic to South Africa. Okay, little capitate uh, inflorescences there. Any of them going off? A couple of them. You could see some styles, some uh, anthers poking out of there. One almost wanted to say styles, you know, because it looks so much like a goddamn sunflower. A member of the composite film, but it's not got some uh, stamens poking out of there again. Ericoid foliage looking like a conifer, okay. Looking like a conifer, looking like an erica, okay. That's a convergent trait among a lot of the plants here. Got all the old quote unquote cones, they're actually infructescences, compound fruits of uh, the Proteaceae genus Leucodendron. Okay, there's a dead one. Here's what they look like when they're still alive, okay. This whole plant community needs fire, all right. It's, uh, it's totally acclimated and adapted to fire. It's co-evolved with fire, just like uh, many plants in Mediterranean climates all over the world. South Africa being one of the five places that you could find a Mediterranean climate. By Mediterranean climate, we just mean summer dry. Winter rain, summer dry. Just like California, just like the west coast of Chile, just like Western Australia, Southwest Australia, and just like uh, the Mediterranean region. Look at that. Here's one of the uh, 800 species of Erica that grow in uh, South Africa. Look at this. Look at these draping bastards. Look at it. Got the, it's like a white abaxial surfaces. All right, here's another species of Erica. Yet another. God damn. A lot of, lot of diversity in this genus right here. Blueberry family Ericaceae, but these look these look, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're our own separate uh, lineage, your own separate little clade, all right? Quite far removed, still in the family, but quite far removed from some of the plants you might know in the Northern Hemisphere. Here's Lichtensteinia, a member of the uh, carrot family, APAC. Beautiful venation on it. You see that? Kind of uh, luciniate leaf margins right there. Glabrous, prominent vein, re-sprouting, from the rhizome right there. And then of course when they flower, they get a, you know, yeah, about yay tall, maybe three feet tall, three foot tall inflorescence up there. There's a member of the uh, Asteraceae, those white flowers. Metalaceae is the genus there. Tribe is Nephaliate, a paper daisy tribe. Oh yeah, here's an interesting one. Here's an interesting one. This is a tree member of the thistle subfamily of the uh, Asteraceae, the sunflower family. Look at it, this is Tarconantha littoralis. Look at the undersides of those leaves. White and silky. Ooh, so delicate. Actually, just uh, working to protect against the moisture loss, against the transpiration and what the shit from those stomata. Oh, it's getting kind of windy. Getting kind of windy, kind of hot. Look at it, that's all that uh, leucodendron right there. I believe that's leucodendron salignum. There's some of that sandstone, the quartzitic sandstone. There's that apiaceous bastard, that lichtensteinia seed. There's the old umbel on them. There's the leaves just coming out. All right. It's September. It's spring here. It's early spring. A little early for the fin boss. The fin boss. So look at this, look at this tiny bastard down here. Another member of the Thymoliaceae, okay, which is, uh, you know, you get, like I said, you get a lot of them in Western Australia, you get quite a few in South Africa, and you only get one or two in uh, North America. Anyway, this is Struthiola, is the genus on this one. 
and you'll see those four white things. Those are actually the sepals. So you got the calyx fused into a tube. And then looking closer, well, let me zoom out a little bit. You can see my just my nasty uh, thumb. And the, uh, the petals actually are those little yellow things. Okay? The petals are, you got eight petals. They're, some people call them uh, petaloid. You know what I'm saying? They, they're kind of like, a, they're weird. I don't, I don't know how to describe them. You could call them petals, though. Subterrete petals, you could call them. But a very odd flower morphology. Again, ericoid leaves. Waxy ericoid leaves. Linear. Just forming a little rad. But you got a woody stem right there, too. Anyway, there you go. Struthiola. About 40 species in that genus. Lots of them in South Africa. Oh, look. We got a termite mound over there. What you guys doing? Huh? Let me just give it a little, just a little scrape. Just give them something to do. I don't want to destroy their hard work, but you got to, you know, you got to take a look inside, right? Look at those guys. Just a whole bunch of little tunnels. Look at this magnificent bastard. We got a species of Leucospermum in early stages of uh, flower maturity. Damn, look at it. Look at that. Uh, what that trunk is, too. Quite impressive. We got, we got a few more up there. The wind is picking up. Got oligospermum here, too. Nice composite. Look at the way those ligules, before they open, those daisy rays, those ligules before they open, look at the way they just kind of point up. Look at the involucre on that guy. Oh. Red stems, woody, small shrub. Then look at this, look at this devious little bastard. Growing in a little pocket in the sandstone. We got a scrofe, okay, a true scrofe, scrofulariaceae. This is a species in the genus Hemimeris. Look at that. Bilaterally symmetrical flower. You got your opposite leaves. Oh, look at that, look at that. Is that the fruit, huh? Is that the fruit down there before the calyx opens? But it's a little too close. You could see my uh, my uh, imperfect little dimpling on my skin, my little cuts and scars and shit. But now look at it. Look at that. Nice calyx money shot. And at the superior ovary. Right there. Hairs. Hairs and glands on the whole plant. Again, just hanging out in a little pocket of soil. Created in a divot in the sandstone. He's kind of kind of like uh, the South Africa equivalent to our monkey flowers in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, look at those cute little, uh, cute little red speckling he's got on the top of that uh, Corolla lobe right there. Look at that. Look, that's an iconic little bastard right there. Only about five feet tall, kind of squat. Yeah, maybe four and a half. It's an iconic uh, member of the Proteaceae, this Leucospermum right there. God damn. Oh, it's so fuzzy. Starting, you know, we're starting to lose. Uh, look at the dimpling in it. The same stuff. Isn't that cute? Eh, brick. We're starting to lose some of the, uh, the light. You know, so I might have to call this quits early. Sorry, guys. You know, it took me a while. St stopping too much to look at the ground over there. What do they got those little deer? Don't they got those little deer looking things? They got caracals too. They got their own porcupines completely unrelated to the porcupines we got in the northern hemisphere. Look at this, look at all the sand. They got those little mini deer. I wanna see one of those little bastards. They look cute. Okay, this looks like a, this looks like a nice spot to end it. Okay, looking over Houts Bay right here, looking west into the, the cold, chilly waters of the Atlantic. And we got another member of the Proteaceae, which is good, I caught this right before I lose the light. This is Sururia. A species in the genus Sororia. Look at those pollen presenters going off right there. Those long, those elongated white things, of course. Those are those uh, four tepals. Just coming undone. Look, they're still together at the ends on this one. It's flowers in an earlier stage of maturity. The one on the right side on an earlier stage of maturity and the one on the left. Okay, still got that kind of uh, yeah, plastic foliage. Almost feels like uh, some sort of plastic aquarium plant. All right, like many of those uh, pro Proteaceae. Okay, this guy, of course, is small, though, coming up on that nutrient-poor sand. See that? 
right next to the Metalasia. Metalasia. Ooh, one of the paper daisies. Look at that. Anyway, looks like that's all I got for you today. Have a good rest of your evening. Go fuck yourself. Bye.